a chain. I joined the Army in 2010. I work with Sukhoi aircraft. I specialize in high altitude and rescue equipment. And my message to the girls what out is, there, what is that? High, altitude. high altitude and rescue equipment is a system found in an aircraft. Here, I help my pilots to supply them with oxygen. <coughs> I make sure they are fast and well in the seats. In case of an ejection, they must be in position to land down safely without being hurt. Mm. In that system, we have uh, survival equipment which help them in the process of ejection. Yes. My message to fellow women out there, I really encourage them to come in and join us. Let them join the military. It's a good place to be. You can still come here and be proud as a woman. I'm Lieutenant Akol Evelyn. I joined UPDF in 2010. I've done several courses of Air Force, more so on this machine. I'm an engineer on Sukhoi, that an electrician specialized in a department called aircraft equipment. In aircraft equipment department under electrical, I deal with the instruments of the aircraft in the cockpit. I deal with ox the oxygen system. In oxygen system, I deal with both the engine and pilot's oxygen, cause the aircraft air inborne the pilot may not be able to use the normal oxygen we use. So he goes with gadgets to avail him with oxygen when he is in air. My message today, to, as we celebrate our Women's Day 2023 to the young ladies out there, is to embrace sciences, more so PCM, PEM, because that is the beginning of everything in Air Force. If you want to join us, you have to have the basis of that one. Then other courses come in, but that is the initial stages of what? Joining Air Force. And another thing is to stay focused, not fearing men, and out co compete with the men favorably and do the job. Kopolo Katsume Prosi. My specialty on this aircraft, uh, the aircraft Sukhoi MK32, is flight data recording systems. Uh, we'll simplify it as black box. Some people call it black box. So that one, it helps us to pick data, store data, and then know a lot about the aircraft after flight. In case of anything, it, is, it works as the heart of the aircraft. So I joined the Army in 2010, came to Air Force 2011. I've been in this specialty for the last 12 years on Sukhoi. And now my message to all ladies out there, I encourage them to do sciences. Please, never fear the army. Some of them, I always interact with them outside there. They say when we join army as a, a female, we shall never get men to, uh, to marry us. My man is also a civilian, as I talk now. I have two kids in the last 12 years. My first born is six years. My second born is one and a half years. So never fear to join army. Do your sciences, pass via basic training, then come to Air Force and do other courses. Um, I'm by the names of Nachi Ukamorin. I'm also, an, I'm, I'm also a maintenance engineer working on this machine called Sukhoi 30. And I specialized in electrical. Um, in electrical, we do very many things, and this machine is generally electro. It's generally ele electronics. So without electricity, actually, this machine cannot do its performance. And now, me as an electrician, I'm able to perform like any other man there who is also a maintenance engineer, and I'm able to execute all my duties as expected. Um, the message to my fellow ladies out there, 
as we are celebrating this Women's Day 2023, I really, um, I really urge you to join the army because in army we've been able to reach where we never expected actually. Um, very many people would yearn to be part of me, but they don't have that chance. Because doing, um, doing a, a course like this is not easy out there, but AME has also given us that chance as ladies to be part. In case you're able, you have the capability to do it and perform all your duties well, you did sciences, join AME, please. Nakato Jessica Nava, and on this aircraft I specialize in department called communication and navigation and in that department just like we are the word communication and navigation uh, side of communication you have to make sure that the aircraft carries two pilots you have to make sure that the, before they leave for flight the captain can communicate with a with a co and then the, the pilots can communicate with the ground crew, the pilots can communicate with the, the, with the people at the tower, and just in case of a flight uh, information, one aircraft can communicate with another aircraft. And then uh, side of navigation, you have to make sure that uh, the pilot, there is something called the flight, uh, flight plan, the pilot knows where he's going to go and will come back directly where he's from. My message to the ladies out there on International Women's Day. From, from, from the aptitude test, so I was taken for electrical engineering. That one I did it first in, um, in Israel. That was in 2011. And uh, my first aircraft I worked on was, was uh, MiG-21 which is also a fighter jet. Then from there, I went to Libya. I started uh, another kind of jet called MiG-23 with L-39. All those are jet aircraft. Then from there, I advanced to this one, which is a very sophisticated one. It is a Sukhoi, which training we did in Russia. We first did the training in Russia for four months, theory. Then we came back here and continued with training for three years. From then, I qualified to become the head of department. But that's how I, I went in, in, in ranks, in the maintenance ranks. I became a head of department of communication and navigation. Mm, after some years, I became the acting squadron engineer of the squadron. And from there, uh, I went to the headquarter. My message to the young ladies out there on Women's Day is that even, even us, the ladies, we can make it. You know, aviation in general is male-dominated. Then when you come to the military, military is also male-dominated. But if you can see, you can see this group of people I have. This is just a sample of the many. Hmm? That shows that it's doable and possible. I encourage young ladies to embrace sciences so much because for us we are biased. I will not tell you that go and do any course and you'll come here, no. We are science biased because what we do here is applied science. So the theory we do from wherever those tertiary institutions, the colleges, the pre from secondary school, when we come here we apply what we studied there and put it into real practice. So please, I'm encouraging you young girls First of all, to join the military. Military is very sweet. Also, especially when you're a lady. Seriously. <laughs> you know, people have a, a myth that um, ladies can't join the military. Ladies can't work on them. They can't embrace technology. But we are here to, sh to share a live example. We are here. I've worked in the military for over 20 years, and uh, in the 20 years I have three children. 
one is in A6, another one S2, another one in P4. So that is how balance you can see. I gave military time to use me. And they gave me time for my family. So you say I kind of balance my sexual life and my military life and family. Family is most important. But for us as military, they always tell you that service is because of. So you pass to the military, pass then family. There's always there, you know, whatever we are doing is not simple. Um, most of our work is uh, labor intensive, so you actually need to be strong. Mm -hmm. So one of the greatest challenges you always find is maybe not having the strength to do certain things, but because we have our male counterparts who always help us in the heavy, heavy duty kind of work, so we, we also kind of balance it with giving them our brains. Other challenges are like in any other field for the female, you know. We are struggling for women emancipation. So you'll find that um, some, not all, you'll find that some male have that bias or that prejudice already of female. But since we are in the struggle, we shall continue fighting until we shall reach one day when female are equal to Unless you have a, they call it superiority complex. But if you know that you're in a position because of your potential, and everyone below you has to benefit from you being in that position, then I don't think you have to populate the, the male, most especially because you're in a, in a higher position as a female. Unless you really do not feel yourself Mm? Unless you are put in that position out of whatever you do. But if you really pass through the right channels, I mean, you've been handling this male. Like for me, I'll give my example because I've been dealing with the male, leading them. And if you kind of oppress them, then even that too. Being gender insensitive. Yeah. So, Nadi? I have moved through the profession until where I am right now as a deputy director. I think that is one great achievement. And uh, our other achievement is um, working with this staff. Of, I mean, in it's one of the state of art. And if I can, if you can go and find out in Africa, you'll find that Uganda is one of the most countries which has it. And being a female and being a group of ladies working on one of the fewest assets in Africa, that one also becomes as an achievement. Then uh, my family, having a family, you know, we have been having challenges as female getting married. Mm -hmm. It becomes a challenge. You find that most of the female are maybe single mothers, but we have lived as a married woman for the last 20 years. So that is also an achievement.